Hey everyone, um, a little bit of update here. Um, I'm going to be at Comic-Con this year. I'll be there uh, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and I'm definitely going to be there on Friday, Star Wars Day, when um, we have the uh, oops, the Star Wars Fan Movie Awards, and uh, I'll be at that. don't know if I'll get anything for it, but uh, it's going to be fun just being there. So hopefully I'll run into uh, some of my uh, YouTube friends on there. Anyway, uh, let's um, do a Blender tutorial here. And uh, what I'm going to do is show you how to use um, pose libraries in Blender. And um, let me, if, in fact, choose a different pose here. This is kind of weird looking. Okay, that's good. Okay, so this is Anubis, and uh, I've always wanted to do an Anubis character. It's kind of hard to see what he looks like because of the fact that he is um, he is so, uh, how shall I say it, um, his, his skin is, is all you know, jet black and stuff like that. So, um, bear with me here. It's kind of hard to see his fingers and stuff when I'm doing, but, um, maybe I'll zip in and out of shaded mode here. But anyway, uh, let me show you how to use pose libraries. And, uh, I like to use pose libraries for the hands because a lot of times you end up doing repetitive posing and reposing of the same kind of poses over and over. Um, fist clenched, fist pointing, you know, uh, finger spread and stuff like that. So instead of just doing that manually every time, I'll show you how you can store and uh, recall poses uh, using the pose libraries. So uh, anyway, we have a hand here, and I'm going to make a. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move uh, his fingers into a uh, pose here. Let's see. Um, I've done pretty much all the poses that I need right now, but uh, we'll just start moving his fingers around, curling them down. Oops. Get him into some sort of pose here. Oops. So I got this kind of funky pose. And also, oops. I'll do whoop, too much. Okay. And I'll scale it in so his thumb is curled. Okay, sorry I'm taking a lot of time here to make the pose, but... Okay, so we have this kind of uh, upward curled uh, finger pose, and let's say we like this. I don't really like it, but uh, for purposes of demonstration. So if I want to store and be able to recall this pose over and over again, uh, what I would do is I'm going to shift and right click on every uh, bone that I want to be saved in that pose. And then uh, after that, I can store the pose with a, a variety of different methods. Um, in the pose uh, menu, there's a pose library section, and it will show you everything you need. Also, down in the editing context, under links and materials, there is a pose library section. Uh, but the easiest way, uh, quickest way at least, is with the use of hotkeys. So I'm going to store this with a Shift L, and uh, a menu pops up, and I'm going to add a new pose, and it will come up with a name requester. I'll say this is called curled, oops, curled up dot L. Okay. All right, so now I've got that pose saved in the pose library. So now um, I can deselect these bones, and if I want to go back to any of the other poses I have for this hand, for example, I can go ahead and just uh, hit Control L, and once I do that, I go into, you'll see down here, Pose Library Previewing, and it will tell you the name of the pose that you're previewing. Use the scroll wheel or up and down keys to change it. So we'll use the scroll wheel, and let's get him into a uh, fist pose here, okay? That's his fist. And so you can see there was, let me move it so you can see this. Also there's, um, I already, already have poses on the other side, Control L, and now I'm going to go ahead and pose the other hand. You can see up in the corner there, the right hand is, is responding. And it doesn't accept the pose until you left click. All right, so if you accidentally go into the, let's say you want to set a pose on the right side, and uh, if you've um, gone and started manipulating, you go and see the left hand moving, just just don't click until you're done with that. So, um, And if you don't like this at all, you want to get out of pose mode, you didn't mean to be here, you can hit the escape key. And as you can see, it stops doing that. But once you um, control L, and once you start messing with stuff here, uh, you get the pose that you like. All right, and then you just left click and you've accepted it. So let's um, 
Let's show another thing, which is how to edit a pose once we have it. Let's go to that curled up pose that we have. So like I said, I wasn't too happy with it. So now let's let's start editing this pose. Make it be so it's not quite so weird. Okay. And I'm going to move that over. All right, so now we've edited that pose and uh, we have it more to the way that we wanted it. Okay. So now again, I'll just select everything that I want to make up the pose. You notice I didn't select the hand. In my case, I want the hand to be free to do its own thing. And when you apply the pose, every bone that's been selected in that pose will snap to that position. I want the hand to be able to, to rotate freely and not snap in any positions that I don't want it to. So uh, now I have that pose the way I like it, and I'm going to hit Shift L again. And this time, instead of adding it as a new pose, I'm going to replace the existing one, which I had called curled up.l. And you won't see it happen, but it has, in fact, uh, taken place, which you can see when I browse the poses. There is that curled up pose again, and I'll left click to accept it. All right, so that is the basics of it. It's very handy, useful, easy to use tool once you know where it is, once you know where it's lurking. So I hope that uh, helps you out with your Blender endeavors.